Cochran with CBC News. Uh, last night on the plane, when we asked you if that the picture that emerged in the Time report was the only time you had done this, you left us with the impression there was only one other incident. And since then, Global News has released a video which seems to show that there was at least a third incident. So exactly how many times have you darkened your skin with makeup in an act that you have yourself described as racist? Uh, I uh, shared the uh, moments that I recollected, uh, but I recognize that uh, it is something absolutely unacceptable to do. Uh, and you know, I, I appreciate calling it makeup, but it was blackface. Uh, and that is just not right. It is something that uh, people who live with the kind of discrimination uh, that far too many people do because of the color of their skin, uh, or their history, or their origins, or their language, or their religion, uh, face on a regular basis. And uh, I didn't see that from the layers of privilege that I have. Uh, and for that, I am deeply sorry, and I apologize. So, so, Mr. Trudeau, how many times? Is it just the three that we know about, or are there more incidents? Because you know people are looking for them. And if a candidate were to come forward now with this in their history, would you allow them to run for the Liberals in this election? I think that's a, that's a, that's a, a, a question that uh, we would look at every step of the way. I think uh, examining uh, the case-by-case -case situation, uh, examining uh, the actions that someone has taken. I am uh, certainly uh, conscious that in my political career as leader and indeed as Prime Minister, we've taken uh, many concrete actions to fight against racism, to fight against intolerance, to fight against anti-black racism specifically, to recognize unconscious bias and systemic discrimination that exists in Canada and elsewhere, to work to overcome and recognize intersectionalities that people live with in a, in a way that uh, so many of us simply cannot understand or appreciate the microaggressions and the challenges being faced. Uh, so uh, even though we've moved forward in significant ways as a government, uh, what I did, the choices I made, uh, hurt people, hurt people who thought I was an ally. Uh, I am an ally, but this uh, is something that obviously uh, I deeply regret and I never should have done. More than three times, more than three times, yes or no, sir. More than three times, yes or no. Next question. Larry Cush, Winnipeg Free Press. Um, Mr. Trudeau, yesterday you said that you didn't realize in 2001 that it was wrong put on brown face. Uh, but now you do realize it is wrong. And I'm wondering when it dawned on you that it is wrong. I think it's difficult to uh, become a politician where you spend as much time as you will do uh, working hard to represent people, uh, working hard to getting to know uh, a community like the community I have the honor of representing, Papineau. Uh, where uh, there is extraordinary diversity, extraordinary challenges, and yes, extraordinary intolerance, uh, even uh, in a city like Montreal, in a country like Canada, that people live with every day. And as I've uh, learned uh, to not just represent people, but to fight for them, and to try and build a better community and a better society, I've learned every day uh, that it is unacceptable uh, to um, to engage in this sort of behavior. When you first uh, ran in, in Papineau in 2008, and later when you ran for the leadership in 2015, presumably there was a vetting process. Um, I'm wondering if you thought enough about this issue that you volunteered that to, uh, in the vetting process, or did you ever declare that this had happened? I, I never talked about this. Uh, quite frankly, I was embarrassed. Uh, it was not something that represents uh, the person I've become, the leader I try to be, uh, and it was really embarrassing. You said just a few minutes ago that you told us last night on the plane that you were, that of all of the different instances that you recalled, have you since been made aware or remembered of other instances, and if so, how many? Uh, I, I think um, it is obvious that, that this is something that was deeply regrettable. I am wary of, of uh, being definitive about this because the uh, recent pictures that came out, I had not remembered. Uh, and I think the question is, uh, how can you 
not remember that? The fact is, I, I, uh, I didn't understand how hurtful this is to people who live with discrimination every single day. Uh, I have always acknowledged that I come from a place of privilege, but I now need to acknowledge that that comes with a massive blind spot. I have dedicated my leadership and my service to Canada to try and counter intolerance and racism everywhere I can. Uh, but this has been a uh, personally um, a moment where I've had to reflect on the fact that um, wanting to do good and wanting to do better simply isn't good enough and you need to take responsibility uh, for mistakes that hurt people who thought I was an ally, who hopefully many of them still consider me an ally even though this uh, was a terrible mistake. I just would like you to answer a very basic question. You've done this all obviously more than more than two times. Why? Uh, I think when we recognize, when we reflect on uh, mistakes we made in the past, that's a question that we're always going to be asking. Why did we do that? Why did we think it was okay? Why did we think it was a good idea at the time? It wasn't a good idea. It was a terrible idea. It was uh, something that minimizes and takes advantage of a reality uh, that I have not had to live with, of being discriminated against, of being marginalized, of being judged for the color of my skin, for my language, my background. Uh, I come from a place of privilege and I have endeavored in my life to put the advantages and the opportunities I've been given to serve this country, to fight for people's rights. Uh, and I have to recognize that I let a lot of people down with that choice. And I stand here today uh, to reflect on that and to ask for uh, forgiveness. Hey, Glenn McGregor, CTV News. Mr. Trudeau, there's a bit of confusion about the timeline of all of this. And I'm just wondering when you first told your campaign staff that there are these images of you out there that could be embarrassing if they were to come out in an election campaign. Did you know about this in 2015? Did you know about this uh, before then? Did you, when, did, when did you tell those people that? As, as I said, I, I uh, was embarrassed, particularly given the person that I've become and the leader I try to be that fights for people's rights and defends people against intolerance and racism and I didn't want to talk about it with anyone because I'm not that person anymore. I'm someone who understands the deep hurt caused by actions like that to people who live with discrimination every single day. Um, when uh, we found out that Time Magazine was uh, looking for uh, a picture of that event I told my staff, but ultimately the, the call is mine on when to talk to people, when to act on things, and the buck stops with me and I take responsibility. You had a, you had a privileged upbringing, you went to good schools, your father was Prime Minister and an internationalist, and I'm wondering if he knew that you were doing this in high school, appearing in blackface, and what he thought about it, and if he if he didn't know, what do you think he would have thought about it? Uh, I, uh, my father raised me um, to try and defend people's rights. Uh, one of our family mottos has always been provide counterweights. It was the reason he gave for why he chose uh, to go to Ottawa in 1965 when all the power tended to accrue towards uh, Quebec City and the Quiet Revolution and uh, Quebecers becoming strong and staying in Quebec, he said, no, we need to provide counterweights. And if you're strong, you need to go uh, where your strength is most needed. Uh, that is the way he raised me. And I certainly have uh, tried to use the privilege that you talk about, the opportunities that I've had in my life, uh, to put them in service of people who didn't have the kinds of opportunities that I have. That's the kind of leader and the kind of prime minister I've tried to be, the kind of man I've tried to be, certainly the kind of parent I've tried to be. And in my conversations with my kids, difficult conversation I had this morning, 
uh, about taking responsibility for your actions and learning from your mistakes. Um, this is certainly something I think my father um, wouldn't be pleased with how I behaved, but um, perhaps would feel that taking responsibility for things is important. Uh, when I think of the conversations I had with my kids this morning, I also recognize that there are far too many Canadians who this morning had to explain to their kids what those pictures were of their Prime Minister and what kind of society we live in and what kind of world we need to live in and how things have evolved. But at the same time, um, I regret deeply um, parents who had to have difficult conversations with their kids that uh, were uncomfortable and hurtful because of my actions.